What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our college football channel. We've gone through all the Power 5 conferences, looking back at the predictions from the preseason. Now we're going to look at the playoff predictions. And most of us did not get more than a couple teams right. I think I saw maybe one person they got three out of the four teams right. Uh, and we're going to show you some of the different predictions, not just mine, uh, just to kind of compare and see what everyone was thinking back in the preseason. So let's just jump right into it. We'll start with my predictions. And I had Alabama at one, Ohio State two, Georgia three, and yes, Miami at number four. Uh, I think most people expected Alabama to be the best team this year. I was one of them. I thought they were going to win the national championship. Uh, that did not happen. Obviously, they had a lot of the same issues from 2021 carry over this to this past season. Uh, they didn't get a lot of help at wide receiver, which is something we thought, you know, Jermaine Burton was going to step in there and be that next superstar wide receiver. Uh, and it just didn't happen for them. The defense wasn't as good as I thought they would have been as well, although they were pretty solid on that side of the ball. Then you look at Ohio State. So, yes, I got, got it right because Ohio State did make the playoff but it didn't happen how I expected it to happen. I thought this team would win the Big Ten. I thought they would beat Michigan, at least in the preseason. Now, again, if you follow my channel, about halfway through the year, I switched my pick to Michigan in that game. But preseason, I had Ohio State, and I thought they would win the Big Ten, like I said, and so that would put them would have put them at the two seed. They did get in, so we get credit for getting a playoff team correct, but it, it didn't go how I expected it to go. And then same thing with Georgia. I expected them to lose to Alabama in the SEC Championship. But they did get in, so we got two teams right. That's actually not that bad. If you go back and and look at playoff predictions throughout the past, really the playoff era, uh, and you look at, at different people's preseason predictions, getting two right is actually not that bad. It doesn't seem great, but uh, getting two right is, is okay. Uh, if you can get three right, that's actually really, really good. Uh, but yeah, Georgia at three. Didn't have them in the right spot, but they did make the playoff. So we got Ohio State and Georgia in there. And then Miami was my terrible pick. Um, you know, as crazy as it seems preseason, imagine if I had picked TCU in the preseason. That would have probably sounded even crazier. Um, I, I was, in a way, I was right. And I said this the other day. There was a surprise team. It just, it was not Miami. Miami didn't come close. I, I didn't, I wasn't buying, I was not buying Clemson, you know, to, to do to be a playoff team I thought they would win the ACC or actually no I had them losing to Miami in the ACC championship but I thought they would you know lose one or two games but not quite be a playoff team Clemson was the team that most people had in the spot um, you know and, and it was just hard to, to come up with you know who would make it in there I was I was torn and I'm 100% I'm honest on this I was torn between Miami and Michigan because I thought if Miami does not pull this off if they don't win the ACC with one loss there's a really good chance that Michigan's sitting there at 11 and 1 only loss coming to Ohio State and I think Michigan could get in there and if I had just made that pick then we would have got it right Michigan would have been that playoff team uh, but no I, I did not pick them I did go with Miami which obviously was the wrong pick and again Michigan very close I wound up giving Michigan two losses just because of uh, a lot of players that they lost, and I thought that game on the road, on the road at Iowa might trip them up, uh, but we missed it. We just missed it. That's all I can say. Miami, way way off on this team. Uh, we took a chance, didn't pay off. So let's look at some of the other predictions. Athlon had Alabama, Ohio State, Georgia, Clemson. This was the most popular prediction. If you look at, at different preseason predictions, these were the four teams for most people. They also got Ohio State and Georgia, so two right, just like me. Uh, Desmond Howard. Let's go to game day now. This is going to be fun. Look at Desmond Howard's picks. If you think my Miami pick was bad, how about Texas A&M, Pittsburgh, and Baylor? Yes, Desmond Howard picked those three teams to make the college football playoff. None of them finished even in the top 25. Give him credit for picking Michigan, but would he have picked Michigan if he was not a Michigan guy? I don't know. Uh, so maybe he just got lucky there. But Baylor was actually on a lot of these predictions so when I was doing my top 10 overrated teams video the other day, I actually probably put a, should have put Baylor much higher on that list. I didn't realize so many people had them to make the college football playoff. I was high on them. I had them in the Big 12 championship, but I did not really consider them for a playoff spot. Uh, but a lot of people did. 
But like I said, A&M, Pitt, Baylor, terrible predictions from Desmond Howard. It, for him, at least he did get Michigan right. Kurt Herbstreet had Ohio State, Alabama, Georgia, and Baylor. There's Baylor again. Like I said, uh, a lot of people picked them to make the playoff, and they didn't even come close. So as bad as Miami, my Miami pick was, you can see a lot of people had some bad predictions. So I don't feel quite as bad now. Uh, but again, that Miami pick, I still wish I would have done something different there. Uh, Kurt also got uh, Ohio State and Georgia, so this, so he got two right, just like me. And if anybody got two teams right, pretty much it was going to be Georgia and Ohio State. Uh, let's go to David Pollock. He had Ohio State, Utah, Alabama, and Clemson, so all he got right was Ohio State. Uh, Utah and Clemson were at least in that conversation. Well, I guess Utah really was not with because the, they had three losses after that Oregon game. But, you know... The Florida game really, I think, probably ruined Utah's chances. What if they had won that game? Would they have been in that conversation as a two-loss conference champion over Ohio State? I think they might have possibly gotten in. So you look at, at one play there at the end of that Florida game, keeping Utah potentially out of the college football playoff. But yeah, David Pollock only got one team right. That was Ohio State. Lee Corso. Uh, he got Georgia and Ohio State. He also had Utah in there. And Utah was a good pick in the preseason. I mean, uh, if you look at that team, I think there was plenty of reason to expect them to, to possibly make a run at the playoff. And like I said, they were pretty close to actually getting in there. So that actually uh, was a pretty decent pick, uh, even though it didn't happen. Here are some other. I was just looking for predictions. I saw these on CBS Sports. Uh, you see Dennis Dodd, Alabama, Ohio State, Georgia, and Utah. He got two right. Tom Fornelli. All right, so here's the big winner. Tom Fornelli of CBS Sports. He actually got Ohio State, Georgia, and Michigan. So hats off to him for getting three teams right. He might be the only one that did that. Um, because nobody had TCU. I mean, TCU was on nobody's playoff predictions. Um, but, yeah, you look at, at the teams he got. Now, he didn't get the order right, kind of like me. You know, he had Ohio State and Alabama winning the conferences, They did, and they did not. And he had Georgia, I guess, losing to Alabama, getting in, and Michigan losing to Ohio State and getting in. Uh, but still, give him credit for getting three playoff teams correct. Chip Patterson had Alabama, Ohio State, Georgia, and Clemson. Barrett Saley had Alabama, Ohio State, Clemson, and Utah. Again, Utah was a popular pick. Clemson was a popular pick. I don't see any Baylors on here. We had two guys on game day pick Baylor. No Baylors on here. Uh, then we had... Um, Alabama, Ohio State, Georgia, Utah, Alabama, Ohio State, Clemson, Oklahoma. Uh, so David Cobb had Oklahoma in there. That was a, a pretty bad pick. Again, not as bad as my Miami pick, but still. Uh, Jerry Palm had Alabama, Ohio State, Georgia, and also had Oklahoma. So two guys, Oklahoma was the pick here on CBS, and Baylor was the pick on ESPN. Uh, so let's go now and look at my, just look back at my um, New Year's Six predictions. I had Michigan and Oregon in the Rose Bowl. Uh, if Michigan had lost to Ohio State, perhaps they would have been here. And Oregon, if they could have won against Oregon State and won the, the Pac-12 championship, perhaps Oregon could have been here in the Rose Bowl. So I don't think this was a terrible prediction, but uh, we did miss on both of those. And you can go look at New Year's Six predictions. I mean, pretty much no one got these New Year's Six Bowls right. I mean, it just because it all starts with the playoff predictions. And if you miss those, that really trickles down to the other New Year's Six Bowls. The Sugar Bowl, I had Texas A&M and Oklahoma. And like I said, I was not as high on, on Texas A&M. I had them at 8-4 and four this year. So I was not as high as most people, but I thought there was just going to be a ton of parity in the SEC because of their non-conference schedule, playing Miami and Miami being a playoff team. I thought that would be enough to have them as the highest-ranked SEC team. And then I thought Oklahoma was going to win the Big 12. Obviously, we missed the mark on that one. Um, then we go to the Orange Bowl. I had Clemson and Notre Dame. So we got one team right. We got Clemson right. Uh, there's something there. And then Notre Dame, uh, they were really not all that close to the Orange Bowl. Would have probably had to win a couple more games. Even then, I don't think they would be higher than Tennessee. So yeah, Tennessee will be here against Clemson. We got one team right. And then finally, the Cotton Bowl, Utah, Cincinnati. This one's going to be Tulane. Who had Tulane? I mean, nobody. And USC. So we missed the mark here in the Cotton Bowl as well. Uh, so one one team out of the the eight teams in the other New Year's Six Bowls that we got correct, uh, not very good at all. But again, if you go back and look at other people's predictions, you're going to see 
a lot of the same stuff here. It was a crazy season, didn't go as expected, and I think that's that's pretty clear. It was a fun season, a lot of parody this year, a lot of crazy games. Uh, this was was one of the more memorable seasons for me. I mean, it, it just seemed like there were so many big storylines every single week. And again, just a great college football season. And now we get to the bowl games and the playoff. We'll see how it plays out. If you think it's going to be Georgia over Michigan in the championship, which is maybe my prediction right now, um, that's what everyone probably expects. But the way this season has gone, don't be surprised if TCU beats Michigan or Ohio State beats Georgia. Uh, I, I still think we're going to see some some chaos potentially or maybe some big upsets in some of these bowl games. It's just been that kind of season. So we'll see how it plays out. Uh, again, these are several different predictions for the playoff. Give me your playoff predictions. What were your preseason playoff predictions? I'd love to know if any of you got three out of the four right. I don't think anyone got four. But anyone out there with three out of the four, if you got three out of four, you probably got Michigan, Ohio State, and Georgia. That would be my Yes. Again, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more here on the SG1 Sports College Football Channel.